Hey, how's it going everybody? Cub Fan here, and welcome to episode 168 of Cub Fan's Minecraft Let's Play. Today we are going to fix an older build that we uh, saw was broken last time in episode 167 in the World Tour. Uh, so let's go ahead and get over there. Uh, we're actually going to fix, wow that was fortunate, this thing over here. So this is the firework launcher, and you see I've already done quite a bit of work here to fix this. Uh, but I just wanted to show you some of the intricate details of it, because I don't really show... Um, a lot of the details of this uh, very often, if at all, since since we build it. Um, so as you can see here, we have a little randomizer with uh, with a dropper. So every one in nine pulses of this piece of redstone, um, that means that this dropper will output a sword into this hopper, which will then detect uh, via this comparator that there's a sword here. So it will output a signal strength of three and shoot this dispenser. Um, so that's how the randomization works with the fireworks show. And in some of these droppers, uh, or some of these dispensers, uh, whenever you have an item in here, um, it'll cause the entire system to lock. So you see, we have droppers here. These are all like the grand finale, and this is just like the regular fireworks show. So if I put an item in here, take a look at what happens. Yep, so you heard this piston extend, this redstone block is now one block lower, and this redstone line is now active. Uh, the same thing happens with this one. So you see the piston extend, and that totally locks the system. Um, now, this will remain locked uh, because we have a redstone signal here that's powering this comparator. Uh, this will re remain locked now until um, the fireworks, in our case, are shot out of the dispenser. Um, so basically until the the sword is dispensed into here a number of times. So when that happens, the piston retracts. This one will retract, and then you see the grand finale will start. It only fires once because there's nothing in this dispenser yet. Um, but uh, let me just show you what happens if there is something in, in this dispenser here. So if there's something in the dispenser here, yep, it'll keep firing until this thing's totally empty. So that's how the grand finale triggering is is done um, is done in this system. Uh, it's quite a challenge to sort of uh, figure out exactly. Let's see, is there anything else up there? No. Quite a challenge to figure out exactly where I was in here and like have to sort of remember exactly what I did and things. Um, but yeah, not not too bad. Uh, you'll see this obviously comes down to a clock down here where we start the entire thing. A little clock right here. Um, so yeah, it's kind of fun going through and yeah, seeing what I did before and having to sort of uh, work with that. And I think this will now allow us to get our fireworks show back up and running. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this back in uh, as much as I can. And we'll test it out and see if we can get a pretty good fireworks show here. Chunk air? Man, there ain't no chunk air here. So you see here, I finished up the area. Uh, let's get on over there before this thing, before it becomes dark. So you'll see we have some fireworks in all these dispensers here now. On all these. And all the grand finale uh, ones back here. And I think it looks pretty good. I think it blends in really well with the, uh, the bit over here. So let's get back up to the uh, platform here. And we just overshot it there. It's okay. Hop on back in here. And let's put on some music. And then we're going to wait for it to get a little bit darker here. And then we're going to start up the, uh, the system and hopefully it works properly. I think we got this whole area yeah, secured. Okay. So, here we go. Here's the test of the fireworks display. I also made it a little bit faster as well uh, because before it had been a little bit slow. But let's do it.
And there's a grand finale right there. Hey oh. Nice. Nice. Got some stragglers, of course, as always. But yeah, I think it went pretty well. Yeah, it's definitely a lot, uh... Whoop, <laughs> a couple more stragglers, dang. Definitely a lot faster than it was before, uh, in terms of, like, the rate of fire. But, uh... Yeah, I like it. Let's, uh, let's get this music disc back. Alright. Pretty happy with that, so let's go ahead and head back to the base. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep through the night, because these mobs will... Tear me apart around here otherwise. And yeah, we'll see what else we're going to do this episode. I think we're going to work on Zera Zera a little bit this time. So let's hop on up here. There we are. Go to the bed. Boom. You can see I sleep at night a lot. <laughs> That's mostly just because mobs can be annoying at night. Especially if you get a creeper when you're working on something like that uh, fireworks project over there. Anyway, let's get over here and see what we're going to do today. All right, everybody. So today is the day you have all been waiting for. Today is a day that will live in infamy. Today is the day that we will start the Zerzera City project. So I am very, very excited about this whole project. It's going to be awesome. So uh, let me sort of get you guys up to speed on what we're going to do in terms of city planning. So um, as many of you know, we have focused in on this military uh, section here, this bit here with the giant spider, attack helicopter, armory, tanks, military tents, and I really like that we did that, sort of focused in on one area, so I'm actually going to go ahead and, and apply that to all of Zera Zera. Uh, I'll show you what I mean in just a second here. Uh, by the way, we're not quite done with this area over here yet. Uh, we're going to put like some sandbags, uh, which will probably be like clay blocks or... Uh, wheat bales behind the armory. We're going to make the spider mouth move and we're going to put tents uh, on the other side of this lake. Military tents on the other side of that lake there. So we're not quite done with that section just yet but um, I want to get you guys, I want to I do the same thing we did here. So like focus in on one section um, more or less complete that uh, and then move on to another section. So that's what we're going to do for the rest of Zera Zera. So let me show you a map of Zera Zera. So this is a map, an overview of Zera Zera. This is from the, you're looking from southeast to the northwest. Um, so in this direction here. Um, and that means the base is over to the right hand side, the lower right hand side. And so this is the entire road network. And we need to split this up somehow to determine where we want uh, buildings to go. So I have an enormous list, a three page long list, almost four, almost four page long list of viewer suggestions and my own ideas to uh, of what to put in Zera Zera. So um, we need a way to sort of section off individual areas and focus in on those and then move on to another area, focus on that, move on to another area, etc. Otherwise we have just buildings everywhere. Uh, that don't make any sense and it might get a little chaotic and we might miss a viewer suggestion or um, a good idea that I had for this city. So, what are we going to do about it? Well, we are going to split Zera Zera up into 18 different sections. So let me show you the map and let's split it up. Ta-da! My MS Paint skills have come to the rescue once again. Um, so we split it up into 18 different sections as you can see uh, via all those different colors. And I went ahead and I've already assigned um, your viewer suggestions to each and every um, section in Zera Zera. So let me give you an example. So the red section uh, contains, as you can see, the that little ring of green. That is actually this ring of emerald blocks right there surrounding the zombie head. Uh, you can also see the beaconator uh, right there. And so the red section goes around, uh, sort of around this road here, and then comes down right along here, and then cuts off right here, and then goes back around the road like that. So that's the red section, and in just this section, the buildings we're going to put in this red section are as follows. So we're going to put a church and graveyard, which is a viewer suggestion. We're going to put an animal market, uh, another viewer suggestion there. Gonna put a town square, which will probably be around this zombie head. Gonna expand the beaconator, so we're gonna expand that and make it a little bit uh, 
a little bit, a little bit better. I'm gonna put a restaurant, a seafood themed restaurant, which was a viewer suggestion. I'm gonna put a post office and a watchtower, which was another viewer suggestion. So that is just in this red section here, and then in the orange section, which is actually over just over this hill, so like this this area here. Uh, and that section will have a windmill, a library, an enchanter shop, a hotel, and a music shop. Um, and that's just the ideas we have so far. And you can imagine I have I have all the whole list of things you guys suggested split up amongst the other different sections as well. So it's going to be a big project. I think we have, as of last count, I think around 75 different unique buildings, not including... Uh, some other houses that I'll put in just to fill in uh, any empty spaces that exist. So quite a big project. Um, yeah, 75 unique buildings at least. Um, and then also, yeah, the balloons and stuff that will come, um, yeah, above the city as well. Because, I, like I said, I want about 20 different balloons. So, yeah, that project is now going to get started. So let me eat something. And we're going to start off today... Uh, working on in this red section here. I want to try to get done one section every episode. Uh, I think that would be a good good pace. So we have uh, about 20 episodes to get the whole project done. Uh, not including some uh, episodes where we might not work on it or uh, work on balloons or other uh, things in the world. So it's not all going to be zero zero, but I want to try and get at least one done per episode. Uh, I think that would be a good good sort of pace for us. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, this Beaconator expanded and also make the Watchtower and I think that's going to be all I have time for this episode. But uh, next episode we'll try and finish up this red section with the church and graveyard and things like that. But for now I'm just going to go ahead and expand this Beaconator a little bit here. We'll probably put some grass in here as well so the cows have stuff to, uh, or not the cows, sheep we put in here will have uh, grass to eat so they can replenish their wool and we'll also add some trees and such for the animals I think that would be somewhat humane of me to do that so we will do that and we'll see how it goes <laughs> oh these cows walked right into my plan <laughs> Boom, baby. <laughs> nice. Yeah, these animals just naturally walk in here. This is great. This is what I should have done initially. I may actually make it so that in the future they set it off themselves when they drop in there. Uh, maybe have a timer after, you know, 20, 30 seconds. They launch themselves and they blow themselves up. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, guys. So I increased the size of this pen housing the cows and the pigs. Uh, you see we got this little gap here so we can walk through, but the animals can't. Also added a few trees around here, so it looks a little bit better. Uh, I do want it to still remain sort of barren, though. Uh, so it's like they watered this, but it's still a desert. So that's what I'm just kind of going for uh, right there. So, yeah, that's that. And also we got the watchtower going up over here. So this thing, I built it once, and it looked too much like the... Let me show you over here. Like that. Uh, like the uh, the watchtower for the creeper farm. So I went ahead and tore the whole thing down, rebuilt it here. Uh, I, I'm liking this design a lot better, but it needs a little bit more. It needs a little bit more color, like a little bit like a like red maybe for like an alert, because it's gonna be alerting people when there's like a zombie invasion or something. Um, so yeah, we'll uh. We'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll add a little bit more red in here. We got some uh, red sandstone and some red wool. Maybe put some red glass windows in there as well. But it's looking okay. So I'm going to keep going with this design. So I'll be back once this is done. Alright everybody. So we just got the watchtower done. There it is in the distance. You can see we got a nice little flag on top now as well. And we added a bunch of red as I said we were going to do. Um, so that's what it looks like from a distance. Let's get closer here. Uh, by the way, these these two guards have somehow gotten off sync, and I've also noticed that they sometimes take days off. So they're slacking on the job. Uh, some of them are, at least. 
Uh, so that's sort of an interesting thing to note with that armor stand swapper. But right now we're focused on the tower, so let's get over there. Gonna be in the river here for a moment. There we go. So there's our tower. Add a lot more red to it, and I think it looks a lot better now. Uh, we added some, yeah, red stain, uh, red stained glass panes. Added some buttons and trap doors and stuff around the side, and also added um, some uh, red sandstone stairs and blocks at the top. So I think it looks pretty darn good now. And we're going to go with this like sort of adobe brick color for a lot of the buildings here. Not all the buildings. We will do some variation, of course, uh, with woods, different wood, and um, yeah, maybe some prismarine for some some buildings. But uh, I like the uh, the desert look of this quite a bit, and I like the flag, especially from a distance. So let's go ahead and get, in, get on inside. we got a little staircase going up here. And we open this up. Uh, so here's the interior. We got some red carpeting, some gray in the middle, uh, brewing stand, cauldron, furnace. Uh, you have some plants. Got a little thing here that lights up when you hit that button. Chest. Here's some storage. Let's dump some of that out from there. Come up these steps here. Got another little plant thing here. More storage. And then a bed you can sleep in. Uh, like it's like a night watchman bed, so maybe these the night watchmen take shifts and stuff. So, yeah, this is the top of the tower here, so you can see out, you can look out, and you can see a lot of the the city from up here. Quite a big portion of it, at least, a lot of the roads and such. Uh, and you'll see this sign: "In case of zombie invasion, pull lever." So you just flick this lever, and that will turn the redstone lamp at the very top on. So if we go back down here, we will see. Once we get outside and get away from the building a little bit. Yep, you see the redstone lamp at the very top is now indeed on. So that's just a little little tiny little bit of functionality, but you know me. I gotta put something redstone related in every single build. Um, but, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this episode on some city planning for Zera Zera. Uh, that shouldn't be on. I gotta fix that. Uh, but, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, uh, and let's go ahead and head on down to the mineshaft, and we'll see what today's highlighted channel is. Okay, everyone, down here in the mineshaft now, today's highlighted channel is Jerry's Michiel. I hope I said that right. But last episode, Jerry's left a comment saying that I should build a Kirov airship from Red Alert uh, over the desert, and I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Um... If you don't know, I am a huge fan of the, I need some torches, a huge fan of the um, Red Alert series. So, yeah, to see somebody else also take an interest in that, um, it's pretty cool. I need some of this, there we go. Um, yes, yeah, so there's so many great one-liners from that uh, that whole Command and Conquer Red Alert series. Kirov le porte. Bombardier's fuel stations. Attacking. You know, I mean, could just go on and on. I mean, it'll be a smoking crater. I mean, just so many quotable one-liners that have really uh, stuck with me over the years, I guess. Um, and, yeah, I thought it was a pretty cool idea. So we may do, like, a Kirov airship uh, in one of these next few episodes. Um, so, yeah, Jerry's, thank you for the idea. This is your mind shaft. Let's see how you do against the other competitors. Okay, everybody, so we got 10 diamonds from Jerry's Mine Shaft, plus a bunch of other resources like redstone, which is always fantastic. And that puts him at third place, or actually tied for third place, on the Fortune 3 leaderboards. Okay, everyone, so we're going to take a look at the Zero Zero map here. And I just want to say, um, stay tuned tomorrow, because there will be a new series out tomorrow, uh, which you guys have been asking me to do for quite a long time, and it should be quite fun. So just look forward to that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the map here. So here we go. Here's Zera Zera as it currently stands. Uh, here's the Beaconator we improved this episode. And there is the Watchtower. Looks kind of like a plus sign from above, but that's it nonetheless. Uh, so next time on the Let's Play, I think we're going to go ahead and start the Witch Farm project. Um, because I've been meaning to do that for some time, and I think it's time that we started it up. So... We'll do that next time, and also potentially some more stuff in the red uh, zone of Zera Zera. Uh, in case any of you are wondering, I will provide a whole list of 
each and every building we're building and which section that goes in uh, from the map I showed earlier. Uh, so that'll be in the description if you want to rewind the video and figure out which buildings we're going to build where right now. Um, of course, it could change, and as you guys uh, have more ideas, I can uh, incorporate those into the build as well. But it's going to be a great time. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm glad we have this project underway now. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Cub Fan. Goodbye.